Hey everybody, welcome to our channel, Living in Richmond, Virginia, where we show you exactly what it's like to live, work, eat, and play right here in RVA. This video is all about the Glen Allen area in Richmond, and we start by showing you all the nearby amenities, and then we dive into the best neighborhoods of Glen Allen. I've got road and aerial footage, maps, and information all about the Glen Allen area. Be sure to stay to the end to see which neighborhood tops our list as the favorite. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome. I'm really glad you're here. My name is Taylor Jefferson, and my wife and I own and operate Jefferson Grove Real Estate here in Richmond, Virginia. We've helped tons of families relocate to Richmond, and if you're thinking of doing the same, be sure to download our free Richmond Relocation Guide. It's full of tons of useful information about the Richmond area, the links in the comments below, and on our banner image on our channel. If you haven't done so already, you need to subscribe to our channel, because every week we'll be posting new videos all about living in Richmond, including more top neighborhoods, area tours, family-friendly activities to do, and more. With all that being said though, let's dive into today's video, the best neighborhoods in Glen Allen. So let's start with some information about Glen Allen. Glen Allen is the area just north of Short Pump, and parts of Glen Allen actually extend pretty far east, all the way to the Route 1 and Highway 95 border. Within Glen Allen, there are two zip codes, 23060, which contains the parts below Highway 295, and zip code 23059, which contains all the areas above Highway 295. What's great about living in Glen Allen is you have easy highway access and a short commute to practically anywhere you need to go. There are amazing nearby amenities and some of the highest rated school systems too. In addition to all the Glen Allen amenities, you're super close to all that Short Pump has to offer. Now Glen Allen's a little more dense with residential development, so there are lots of neighborhoods around, but not quite as many commercial spots. As mentioned, you can always head south to Broad Street and then you're right at Short Pump's door. Strictly speaking about the Glen Allen area, we start to the west at the intersection of Knuckles Road and Twin Hickory Road. There are two shopping centers anchored with grocery stores, one being Publix and the other Food Lion. Within this development is one of our go-to restaurants, Sedona Tap House. And just down the road a little is the Shady Grove YMCA, which is really nice. Now, there's not too much to mention about the middle parts of Glen Allen. At Innsbruck, which is located at the intersection of Cox and Broad, there's a large commercial spot with lots of bars and restaurants. And a little further east, there's a shopping center at Crossridge with a Publix-anchored strip mall with lots of other little shops and restaurants. But to get to anything really worth mentioning, we need to head as far east as Glen Allen goes over to this bubble near Route 1. Along this stretch of road on Route 1 and north of 295 Highway, there's a lot here. There are multiple restaurants including Buffalo Wild Wings, Texas Roadhouse, Panera, Plaza Azteca, and more. There's a large Publix grocery store, and there's a Target. Across the street from here is the Virginia Center Commons Mall, which was originally opened in 1991. Currently, the mall is being redeveloped for better use and will become what the developers are calling a mixed-use urban-style village, which is quite a mouthful. There'll be apartments, townhomes, retail shops, a hotel, and an indoor sports complex. Also located right here is a really nice American Family Fitness. Lastly, I want to mention the school systems in Glen Allen. Overall, they are great, but some of the highest rated ones are the systems that feed into the Deep Run High School, which are located further west, closer to Short Pump. Be sure to visit greatschools.org and type in 23060 or 23059 to check out the individual ratings. All right, that ends the overview of Glen Allen, but if you have any questions about it, just leave me a comment or reach out to me direct. I'm always happy to help. So now let's jump into the best neighborhood section of the video. And I'm going to start with River Mill. Located just a little northwest of the Publix right off of Brook Road, River Mill is a brand new community and it's Richmond's first certified active community. It received this distinction because of the types of amenities the developer created for the neighborhood. First, there are miles and miles of paved trails that weave all throughout, as well as the sidewalks too. This is a great place to go for a walk or a family bike ride. There's also an open air pavilion, an outdoor gathering area with fire pit and a kitchen. Coming soon, there'll be a clubhouse with patios overlooking the Chickahominy River and a pool with a sun deck. The pool and clubhouse should be completed by summer 2021. River Mill offers both townhome and single family home options. Starting with the townhomes, what's really nice about them is that some of them actually have a backyard that you can fence in. So you can have privacy in your backyard and if you have to let your dogs out, you will don't have to have a leash. Another nice feature is that they have garages, although depending on the floor plan, some are only one-car garages. The HOA is about $190 per month and includes all the amenities mentioned before, as well as yard maintenance and trash removal. They range in size from 1,500 to 2,000 square feet and will cost somewhere in the low 300s to the high 300s, and they're probably going to crest that 400 mark soon. The single-family homes are pretty densely packed, so if you're looking for space between your neighbors, this isn't the neighborhood for you. And while some sections of the community have more spacing, there's still no acreage to be found here. One other con I have to mention about this neighborhood 
is that there are large power lines that intersect right through it. And while not every home is affected, some of the home's front or backyard views may be diminished by the side of the power lines. You can avoid these issues by being selective about which home you buy here. The HOA for the single family home section is 85 a month and includes all the neighborhood amenities as well as trash removal. The home sizes range from 2,100 up to 3,800 square feet and prices are from the low 400s up to over the high 500s. The school systems are Greenwood Elementary, Hungry Creek Middle, and Glen Allen High School. Up next is Twin Hickory. Twin Hickory has an amazing location convenient to both Glen Allen and Short Pump. It's located between Pouncey Track Road, Knuckles Road, Highway 295, and Twin Hickory Road. This is a large community with over 1,400 homes and multiple sections that are their own miniature neighborhoods within Twin Hickory. There are townhomes, patio homes, and single family homes. The neighborhood amenities include miles of sidewalks connecting the community. There are four pools, tennis courts, and four separate viewing ponds. There are smaller, more affordable townhomes priced in the 200s, as well as larger maintenance-free patio homes priced in the 4 to 500s. They have an additional monthly HOA of 150 to 225 per month, in addition to the Twin Hickory Master HOA of 220 per quarter. The single-family homes range in size from 2,500 square feet up to 5,100 square feet. Prices really vary by section and size, all the way from the low 400s up to the low 700s. The school systems actually vary by location as well. To the west, you have Colonial Trail Elementary, Short Pump Middle, and Deep Run High. And then to the east, you have Twin Hickory Elementary, Holman Middle, and Deep Run High. Our absolute favorite neighborhoods coming up right after this one, so stay tuned. But the one I'm about to mention is also one of our top picks for Glen Allen, and it's the Wyndham neighborhood. Wyndham is located to the east of Pouncey Track Road, north of Knuckles, and bordered by the Chickahominy River. It is a huge neighborhood with almost 1,300 acres containing just under 1,700 homes. This was a master plan community developed in 1992, and it's practically an older version of Magnolia Green because it has similar amenities and there's also a golf course located within the neighborhood. What we love about this neighborhood is how beautiful it is. The streets have sidewalks and beautiful mature landscaping. There's a ton of green space throughout the whole neighborhood, so it does not feel overdeveloped. There's a very socially active HOA hosting about 20 events per year, including a spring carnival, a crab feast, Cinco de Mayo party, and more. The HOA also provides an adult pool, a kiddie pool, four tennis courts, and a basketball and volleyball court. The HOA is just over 200 per quarter and includes all the amenities just mentioned, as well as trash removal. There's also a private country club, the Dominion Club, which has a golf course and also has its own pools and tennis courts that you can join. There will be an additional charge for this membership here, as it's not covered by the HOA. What's awesome is that there's something for every price point. Some of the more affordable homes start in the low 300s, just don't expect anything huge. They'll probably be around 1,500 square feet. From there, it's possible to spend over a million dollars within Wyndham, and in return you'll get over 6,000 square feet. And there's everything else in between those price points and sizes. Much like Twin Hickory, there are also low maintenance condos and patio homes, ranging from the mid 300s to the high 500s. The school systems are Coachelli Elementary or Shady Grove Elementary, depending on the area, Short Pump Middle, and Deep Run High School. So, drum roll please, Sarah and I's favorite neighborhood in Glen Allen is Gray Oaks. Gray Oaks is located just east of Pouncey Track Road, north of Shady Grove, and south of Knuckles. It's practically sandwiched between Twin Hickory and Wyndham. Just like the previous neighborhoods, there are multiple sections within Gray Oaks. What we love about this neighborhood so much is that the newer sections of the neighborhood were built by custom home builders, including one of our favorites, Bradford Custom Homes. Bradford Homes actually built our first house back in 2012, and it was top-notch quality product. Now, that was back in the day before he even cracked the custom home market, and the houses he builds in Gray Oaks routinely top the $800,000 mark now, but they are very well built and absolutely beautiful. You really feel like you're somewhere special within this neighborhood. While this neighborhood isn't quite as amenity-rich as the others mentioned, there is a community pool and two tennis courts. The HOA fee is very affordable at only $520 a year. The home sizes range from 3,000 square feet to almost 7,000 square feet. Expect to pay high 500s up to over a million dollars. The school systems are Coachelli Elementary, Short Pump Middle, and Deep Run High. I hope you found this video helpful and that you'll learn more about the Glen Allen area. Do you have a favorite neighborhood mentioned? Leave a comment and let us know. Remember, if you're thinking about moving to Richmond, Virginia, Sarah and I got your back and we can make your move stress-free and easy, so be sure to reach out to us. Definitely subscribe to our channel because we have more great videos coming up. Thanks for being here today. I'll see you next time.